<laughs> y'all, y'all have to excuse me, I get a little emotional. One year ago, the king of football in Flower Town said farewell to the job he loved. It's, it's hard for me to, to think about anything could be any better than my life here. No longer being carried off the field, the retiree now carries himself to the gym. I've been going to the Y every morning and uh, working out a little bit, trying to, at 89 years old, though it's kind of tough, but uh, I've been making myself do it. The coach has now become the spectator. He's a fixture at Somerville Games now that his grandson, Joe, leads the green wave. He'll do a good job if he surrounds himself with good people. The man who won 622 games tries to keep his mouth shut now that he's not pacing the sidelines, but he is the first to admit. I'm just like any other Monday morning quarterback. Third, third goal on the 20. I can't get away from it, and I don't want to get away from it. His first love might have been football, but his deepest love is the one he shares with his wife, Joan, who's seen more of her husband this past year than she has in decades. The secret is what you got to do, and I'm learning to do it, is don't criticize and just keep, keep quiet, even if you disagree. <laughs>